Nice and filet And Monsters on TPD TV Teenage boys come up to me And they recognise Kells but never Danny Views! But I thought Dan did most of the work Realise it's a full collective There's about ten of us in every vlog So it might not make much raw mad sense I think each video's about ten pence So if any who pricks leave bad block on then Everyone knows me, Cali C But where the fuck is my bridey? Pussy! I haven't seen him in about six months Making bits for about a decade But we all still have to work full-time jobs I'm a girl, lovely baby, get around my belly And if you don't have a sample, then come back when you're ready And if it's not less than 11, then I'll kick your head in! I swear it's so fucking loads of shows, people love, they love, they They fucking love, they love, they Now let's go see Bro Go! About TPD TV, same old shit with content less frequently. SWHBB. Run on Leeds Fest 2018, no that shit, new content three times a week. We have been this horse to death, but the parody helps to keep things fresh. Cover this song with no permission, hope we don't get copyright stricken. Don Broco's first date that we're going to out of five dates. Manchester today. So you'll notice that there's some, some people are missing. As me and Rob are in the taxi, Dan rings me. Hiya mate, we're, we're, not gonna, we're not gonna make it. And he just kept saying that and I'm like, what do you want me to do with that information? <laughs> Been having a few bevies on train, we're at Victoria. My favourite station in the world. It's boring, isn't it? Mate, it's a nice station. Let's get rid of these bevs and then meet the rest of the get team. Get some more bevs. Ooh. Get some skin on it! The tonic. It's time now to start getting leathered. <laughs> yes, Razzy. <laughs> See it off then, mate, if you're hard enough. Oh, Callie's gonna have some food or ten. Am I right, boy? <laughs> or ten. ten Might even foods. do Weatherspoons table hack. We're at table 45 at Weatherspoons. We're gonna push our luck again, see if we can uh, have as much success as we had last year. It's what we like to do. It's milk. Strong rumour that there's gonna be some bevs coming here. Woo! Oh, I got nibs, thank you. Just in case they're not from Chef, thank you whoever bought us them. The tweet was only up for like 10 minutes. Are you ready for something miraculous? Oh, oh no. I thought you said miraculous, mate. Razzy! What? No for the kids! Thanks guys, really appreciate the high quality drinks that you've ordered for us. He's milking it again. No, Razzy, it's got more to do with milk. I'm not having a milk, I'm not having a milk. But if it were fucking sweet chilli milk, it would. Thanks everyone for birthday milk ordered to the table by all our lovely boys out there and girls. Happy birthday. Immediately regrets it. Fine! <laughs>
30 minutes in an Uber later and we're finally on our way to Academy to pick up tickets to then go to Spoons and actually get properly seshed. Razzy, drink that Jaeger bomb. I'm gonna do whatever I fucking want tonight. Jake Valley! Hey! What's going on? Well, there's only one thing that's going on right now, and that is... Is a man gonna down a full woo-woo for the first time ever? Surely not. It's too cold. It's far too cold. Are you coming out tonight? How dare you? Heading to the venue. It's a bit of a nightmare to sort everyone out, but we're gonna try our hardest. It's what are you thinking, Carl? It used to be all right when it were like four people, didn't it? Wait, I think Scully and Covey got for a week. Danny's gone to the toilet and we can't get in until Danny goes because we got his tickets. Well, we can catch I have yours and Danny's tickets. Right, we're on route. We've got a big squad. Let's do it. Manchester, the first night of the Don Broco Technology Tour. I can make you change. I can. It's gonna go off in here, mate. Oh, hold me off. Where are we going? Front and left, mate. We're ready to go. Five nights in a row. I'm getting. Let's enjoy ourselves. If anyone has a standing ticket for tomorrow night, that would be really oh, fucking great. Really Unbelievable, oh, man. Oh, Dallas! Oi, oi, Danny B! Gary! Yeah, Gary! Yeah, yeah. yeah. What's going on with that? Gag in as well! Razzy! So many people just saying hello. It's so, so... Let it go on record. I'm sorry, mate. That's the spirit! Thanks for coming, mate. No, Till next time, I'll see you in Leeds. Yes. First night, unbelievable. Let's go get fucking leathered. That was on par with Valley Pally. And imagine that for another five nights! Five fucking nights! That's the spirit! Yeah, that's the big Chris, Chris has just gone into Ames with some fags, so we got to wait. Oh, fuck off! We're going to Fifth Avenue. It's a Fifth oh, Avenue kind of night. Either. With the team, we'll see you in there. What's happened, old man? I hope you've still got the footage of what I decked up um, at the venue. Because that's what's, that's what's occurring right now, the aftermath of that. Oh, you broke him! <laughs> yeah. That's what TPD stands for. Ride it then, Dan. It what? It's got a lock. Oh, if you're not hard enough to ride it's a bike. It's got a bracket. If, you're not, if you can't remember. It's just like riding a bike! It's been a good evening. I'm very cold. We'll see you tomorrow on the next one in I Leeds. Leeds! See you in Leeds! I Woo! might not. No! <laughs> Hard enough, bitch, like you told me in Paris. C4 and the mic, and it's going off. Pretty boys, back so flashy, I'm showing off. But we in the town, never caught and seen our best being The club was coming Let's do it all again right now. That was fucking intense. I don't know how I'm going to do this for another four days in a row. Three hours in the shower. I'm finally feeling a little bit detoxed. I'm ready to start again. Gonna go into town with Razzy, see if his foot's all right, because he fucked it up last night when he slide tackled me. Home City, obviously, in Leeds. Love it. After today, it's all new shit. We've got Newcastle. We've got two shows in Scotland. It's going to be fucking sick. It's going to be good, Jen. Is it going to be good? How are we feeling today, Trill? I'm actually feeling pretty good. <laughs> I'm fucking not. <laughs> Me and Valley feeling extra ropey. <laughs> gonna go get some fucking food. I can't wait. It was being a bit of a yob last night. Not even a yob. Just like the words are he's cunt. Yeah, that as well. I uh, just went to run behind Kellis whilst we were vlogging just to try and like. So you slide that, tackle me? Bit, yeah, I didn't mean to do that. Oh, I thought you did. <laughs> yeah, I just thought, you know what? I'm just gonna fucking brain my mate. Yeah. You wish you could brain me, mate. <laughs> oh, fucking. It's nice, but it needs mixing up. The most beautiful set you've ever seen. It's good, isn't it? That's fantastic. Cheers for that. Don Broco boys are doing a DJ set of propaganda afterwards, so we're gonna go there. It's gonna be good. Right, we're going. O2 Academy, round two. I'm feeling a bit buzzed now, so I'm excited. Oh. Why not you? Fuck up. Let's go see Broco. <laughs> I 
I've never had my tits out in front of this many people. Show us your words. Show us your words. Show us your words. Show us your words. That was the best time I've ever seen them. How are you not sweating your tits off right now? I am. Uh, it just gets better every time. 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 Right, here's my verdict. I think that was better than last night. And it's extra early so we can get fucked in spoons before we go to props. Will you fuck off? Come on. We're on the come way. Up. Come on. Come on. Will you come on. shut the fuck come up? Come on. Come on. We're gonna go to props. We're come gonna on. get leather. Come on. Oh my god, I almost come dropped on. it then, you fat. <laughs> you really are a fat bastard. Daniel, you're gonna ruin the camera come stabilization. On. It's a Newcastle for the first time in my life. Well, I'm not. No, but I am. And that's who they're looking at, mate. They're looking at Daddy. They're not looking at fucking Ed Sheeran and over here. I've got my Mill Hill in hand and I'm ready to go to bed. Those two nights were awesome, but going to gigs in Manchester and Leeds is nothing new. We do that all the time. This is now when the real fun starts. We're leaving home for four days. Newcastle, Aberdeen, Glasgow. We're gonna head off to the coach station. Three hour coach to get there, fuck me. We're staying in the cheapest hostels that we could find. I think altogether the accommodations cost about 80 quid, which is so cheap. And something to just acknowledge is that the tickets, all 10 tickets, have been paid for by YouTube ad revenue. That's because of you mofos, so thank you very, very much. We'll have a great time. Mate, it was the best fucking birthday. Thank you all. It was so great, much. wasn't it? It's my Sam Pelions. Arrived in Newcastle. Looks like we're in arse end of nowhere. Is Newcastle on the coast? I don't know. Got into Newcastle. Get in taxi. Taxi driver tells us that we're on one of the roughest areas in Newcastle and not to go in these certain pubs because they're wiping the blood off the wall, he said. Don't fill me with confidence. Get to hostel. It's above a convenience store. The guy who shows us around, the least social person I've ever fucking spoke to in my life. And about 15. Like, the room stinks of sweat. It really is a bad do. I'm hoping There's I'm... no plugs. I've been to, like... Shit hostels in shit all countries, and this is better. This let's, is worse, so. let's get let's get some drinks. Quite interestingly, there's a nationwide shortage of chicken we're at the minute. We're on a chicken drought. So uh, we're gonna see if this KFC is actually open and scram down if it is. Fucking hell, no chicken, no chicken, mate. How do you not have chicken at a chicken restaurant? Weatherspoons, if you would like to sponsor us for the next time, since we are spending so much time in your places, then just send me an email. Why not? So I just got this tweet. This this is great. Thank you so much. We, you know we love this. This isn't so great, you bitch. Sambuca. I mean, thank you, but yeah, fuck thank you as well. Honestly, there's no worse. Do you know the first time I met Don Broco, I bought him shots of Sambuca, and Sai was like, oh, I don't drink. <laughs> and, and I was like, mate, I need done any at it. Go on then, Dan, have a, have a drink. Tell us what you think. I'd rather shit. In my hands and clap. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> 
What a whiz. They just shouldn't be mixed, those two things. That's awful. Awesome. Right, so Big Daddy Sebastian, why don't you tell them all what fucking train you put me on? So, in an effort to get everything done as quick as possible, just put like the cheapest of everything, and now, halfway through night, we've realised that we need to be up for train at fucking 8.40 in the morning. So we're going to have a look to see if we can book a bit of a better one, because I'm not getting up that early. You see, now this is why we don't put Rob Kelts in charge of fucking transport or logistics or anything that we actually need. He's there just to look good on camera. That's it. Everything else needs actual planning and he's a stupid cunt. Well, it's done now. So we'll just have to take it a little bit slower this evening. You get the train wrong. Look at your fucking hair. Your shitey purple jacket. <laughs> You're the worst leader I've ever had. How's about you pay for travel next time then, dicker? I fucking will and we'll get there. It on time, worse, in comfort. It? It's a weird venue. That's like your face. Let's get, fucking tell us a joke we know. Some earplugs over here. Let's get some for Razzy. Even though he's not here, he can be here in spirit. Just for you, Raz. Put it in then. Guess where that's gonna go, mate. Oh my god, <laughs> mate. Sure. They are so sick. <laughs> oh, look, there's look one at Raz. Raz. Mate, these are sick. Where can we get these? What do you mean? You are joking. Right, this is Alex. He's wearing this beautiful Coca-Cola jacket. Oh, it keeps coming. Look at these badges that he's got. Mate, these are too sick. That's the first blue box logo I've ever seen. It's the first one I've ever seen aside from my own. Oh, no. Alex. We haven't even seen Don Broca yet, that is the highlight of my night. That is the Thank highlight you. of my Thank week. Thank you very much, man. What Thanks a legend. Much. Newcastle is the only place I've ever been to a gig where people get mad if you stand in front of them. I've New never Castle. ever seen that before. New we literally New had to apologise and move around the entire stage to get vaguely near the front. And we're still getting to the front. See you later. Let's figure out where the fuck we are and get a letter. What's the verdict on Broco? I love him. Oh, good. That's, that's all you need? We got a cue so Danny can get his precious jacket. Sorry, Mr. Purple Jacket, that's stained and ripped. It's not, it's not stained, mate, it's just ripped. Oh, just ripped. One stain. That makes it ripped. fine, that makes it fine. But all right, we're going to a place called Dog and Parrot, and then we're gonna go to this nightclub that's called, it's called Digital. Digi. And apparently, apparently it's shit, so well, let's see what it's like. Sure, no, it's not. It's not. It's not. Really good. It's Digi is Three treble, three treble vodkas for six quid. Not that exciting. Cause that's cheap. That is cheap. You don't think about it. Every one of your Oh yeah. Well, we want to go to Digi. We want to try and persuade the DJ here to come to Digi Army. Is he going to be allowed to? He's dropping some bombs. He's doing a good job. He's doing a good job. Is he going to be allowed to? Adam Burner and Newcastle have ever come across. This is the biggest nightclub I've ever fucking been in in my life. Hula, hula! Thanks, little boy. It's a chess match. She's always back with a chess pack. She's kept track of bills in an empty chest. And guess what? Thanks, little boy. To be honest, I've never been to Newcastle before. We're all leathered. I'm ready for fucking Scotland. It's been incredible. Tonight has been the best. It's been the best sesh night of the tour, and I can't wait till tomorrow. A really good night. Really good. We've never been to Manchester. We sesh like. Cubs. We're not talking about Manchester, mate. We're talking about Newcastle. That's how much I don't know this city. 
Honestly, everyone, I lo fucking love you all so much. I've never met a bunch of bastards like you. you I fucking love you all. I can't wait to show you the badges in detail tomorrow. Give up! Come on! That place sounds good for a kebab. I reckon PSB. Fuck your PSB. We're going magic flame. <laughs> It's busy, it smells good, go get Right, you're not gonna believe this shit. I'm in fucking Liverpool. Not Liverpool, Newcastle. And I've, got, and I've got one of these. And it's first time I've ever seen one of these. Although it's not, because last night in Leeds, my regular main boys, Mill Hill, were dishing out these bad puppies, the order numbers. And guess what number we were? 14. And then tonight, it's 14 as well. Call me, ladies. 0714. Where's the taxi? Fuck this is BD. the world's shittest kebab. It's shit, this fucking taxi. Take care, mate. See you soon. You all right? My back is really fucking hurt. Daddy's now got the code to get him. This is my bunk, and I'm gonna show you around. I've got these kids down here. All these bad boys. Danny, what? Well, sign us off for night. A very uncomfortable morning. 7 a.m. Up to get the coach. I mean the train. Absolute fucking killer. That was the shittest hostel I've ever stayed in in my life. Why did you book the taxi to go to South Africa, you fucking melon? I didn't, mate. It's fucking Uber. They won't even let me change it. I could let you change. I could fix your brain. I Are you all right? Fix my back. No, I'm in agony, mate. Last night was, was a big night. That nightclub was insane. It wasn't that mental. And just to reiterate, yeah, I did wash my armpits in a public toilet using toilet water. Hopefully going to get some sleep on the train because it wasn't a very nice evening in the hostel, I can tell you that much. I was like this close to messaging Tom and saying like, I hey, mate, any chance we can come with you on bus so we don't have to get trained in the morning on their tour bus? Imagine how much of a resounding no we'd have gotten. I reckon it a bit. <laughs> it With his bits. I'm so glad I didn't send that message. Fuck it up. Train into Aberdeen. Sleep. Sleep on the train. Shower in the hostel. Sesh. Kill myself. Tom Broker. Then uh, train into Glasgow the morning after. We've just put the train back from Glasgow to Leeds. That was a priceless sum, but can't put a price on a good time, can you? Yeah, they cost less if we booked it further in advance. You can put a price on a good time. It's about 60 50 quid. 59 quid. Are you ready for some <laughs> jelly beans? <laughs> oh, sick. We finally arrived in Aberdeen. The journey wasn't too bad. That little kid that was playing around made it more enjoyable. It's no comments. Like, I don't want any of those comments. Like it. We're a family-friendly Christian channel. We're going to go to some hostel and hopefully it's better than the one from yesterday. Well, this is different. I fucking hate stairs. I think I've, I think I've done well with this one. The one last night, one of the worst rooms I've ever stayed in in my life. I think you've, you know, you've recovered. So we're, 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 we're sound with this. I might let you book accommodation in the future. Oh, fantastic. We need a shower so bad, as you can tell. Today's going to be a really good day. I think it started off a bit ropey, but we're on the way up, mate. <sighs> that was so welcomed. I can't describe enough how much I enjoyed that shower. <laughs> so as you all know, we went to Paris recently, and when we were in Paris, there was a H&M, and they had super cheap boxes. So I bought some because I thought, what could be wrong? And they're what I've brought today. The issue is, they're literally like boys' underwear. Like, they don't even have like a proper band on the top. So it's gonna be uncomfortable. So I can't remember what we filmed last night, but I do remember that this bad boy got some real harsh treatment. It was used to dry my armpits after I washed them with fucking toilet water. I was out of my mind. Um, and then it was stored down my pants all night. So I'm gonna give it a wash in the sink because I might wear it tomorrow to the Glasgow show. Mate, what are you doing? Drying my t-shirt, mate. 
I take my t-shirt off and dry it out a small window in Aberdeen. I'm gonna go put it on radiator. Now, anyone that knows me knows I love a good noodle and a good cock. Danny White says there's a place called Dr. Noodle. Sounds like he's got a prescription for me. Decent. Is it spicy? It can be as spicy as they let you get it to. Perfect. Some nice prawns in there. How's yours? Did you design this packaging, man? That was so spicy. We lied to you. You got rice. It were, noodles. It was really fucking spicy. That cunt one decking, I'll sort him out. What did he say? I don't know, but I'll deck him anyway. Prick. Yeah, deck anyone, mate. Mate, I'll deck a cards right now. I'll, I'll right, throw man. down. Calm down, man. I'll, I will withdraw Exodia. <laughs> Which part? All parts. It's going to be extra tricky to get to the front. The issue is we've already been there, and we just keep going through this. Knobheads in that crowd. You don't fucking elbow and badge your way in in front of little girls, all right? I had to fucking protect one little girl from some fucking knee and back of head. What the fuck's going on, Scotland? See, I that, thought you were better than that. That's weird you'd bring that up because my issue, I was getting like elbowed by this young lass who thought that I was like pushing into her. Mental in it. It's despite like, the fact that like <laughs> I obviously to wasn't. actively not push against them. It was really annoying for me because the girl that was stood next to me like tapped me on the shoulder and she was like, oh, I'm short. Can I go in front? So I let her in front, even though. You know, I did that with like we, we got there early, but fair enough, like a letter in front. And then by the movement of the crowd, I ended up in front of her at some point, <laughs> and she was like fucking really annoyed. Look, you want me to fucking let you in front and then really control all my like energetic movements that are so impulsive to make sure that you don't fucking get behind me. But that was really good. Fucking astonishing show. As if we've only got one left. This is the, also, this is the only uh, night of the tour. Well, we haven't met anyone from channel. Yeah. So obviously we need to make our strange. make our content more relevant to Scotland. Okay, we're feeling very refreshed today because we went to bed early and we didn't have that much to drink. So despite appearances, we feel okay. Skin feels nice and fresh and soft. Thanks for asking. Let's go get a McDonald's breakfast. How's that sound, Daniel? Oh, you can only have three. So last night, uh, what time was it? About when we got in? Probably about half eleven. Half eleven. Razzy sent us a message saying that he'd mastered and mixed the Thug Workout parody that you heard at the start of the video. I'm really fucking pleased with it. So this one goes out to him. When we went to Paris, he ordered himself a lovely bagel with an extra sausage, and there was no extra sausage in there. But Raz, I found your extra sausage, mate. Okay, Raz, you're not gonna believe this. I'm gonna take it back and get it swapped over for the one with extra sausage. There is only two in there, aren't there? I've been up to the desk. I've got it sorted. Here we go, Raz. A triple sausage. In one. No, oh, mate, yeah, it's so greasy. So we're gonna see if we can get a, a bit of an earlier train because timing on this train is um, like we got. It's too late in the day, so we're gonna see if we can get one maybe an hour earlier. Head over to the station now. Danny's just having a chub in the background. We couldn't swap the train, so we got two hours to kill. This is boring, extra boring. An hour until the train, and then that takes four hours. Fuck's sake, better be a bad feeling tonight, boys. Fucking, I'm waiting for it. All right, we've arrived in Glasgow. God's country. What's he doing the fucking nonsense? There's a hundred pounds set aside to take my little brother snowboarding and I will happily put that towards buying you some new shoes instead of them holy cunts. That's not the only hole. My saddle brown leather case, I know you're thinking, it's weathered, it's aged, it's looking fine. What colour did it look like? Like that. This is on track to be the best one yet, mate, hostel-wise. Well, well, we'll see. We've still got to accordingly. We're getting a boom room, that either means boom, it's gorgeous, or boom, you're having sex. So, I don't want to knob you. Yeah, but it'd be better than having that guy in the fucking... I'd rather knob him than you. Time for the big reveal. I said time for the big reveal, if you couldn't understand. Oh, no, it's good. a beauty. Oh, it's two beds. Get in, there's even a TV and it's my favourite brand of telly ever. Mitchell and Brown. Known for their quality OLED panels. Mate, I'm well pleased with this. Oh shit, it comes with an handsome bastard. 
Oh, oh yeah, it does. That looks lovely. All right then, Glasgow. Last night at the fucking tour. Let's go and get some drinks. We're going to a place called Firewater, which is apparently quite good, and it's the place to be before gigs. Apparently. Right, we've arrived at the Barrowlands. Finally at the leisure centre. Uh, it looks beautiful, mate. It looks it's all right, that. beautiful. I can, I can My spiritual that. home. I've been waiting to see these steps for years. <laughs> Try the fucking I'm rest. Riding, Chris. Uh, excuse me. Right, so Rob thinks he's a big boy. He's got loads of these shitey things on his arm. Look at, look at my boy Craig's arm. Look at this one in particular. For you, Rob. Fuck off. He's better than Craig. I'll stand down. This cunt enough, all the tiny annoying Australian that we've got. Let's fuck get. In fact, I'm gonna let Chloe say it. Let's get fucked up! Hi, Hi. welcome to Glasgow Best Camp to the That's not what we're saying, that's not what we're saying. <laughs> we like today we're done it, just done it, yes, okay. And when today we're done it, yes, we're done it. Okay, so we're out of there now. It's calmed down a bit. I'm, I've cooled down. I'm not feeling sick. Yeah. You were never cool to start with. That was good. I said cool down, mate, not cool, even though I am cool. You can't, you can't even fucking cool up some. That was really good. What's your opinion? It was really good, yeah. And more to I'm, the point. Sorry, I'm interrupting you immediately. Uh, more to the point. The whole tour was really good. What a great night. And week. We'll summarise tomorrow. <laughs> Chicken kebab is the only I way. I remember a chicken place this way. You're asking me to direct them because I'm the only fucking person who knows how to navigate around this pissing city. And I thought, you know what, because I know where the hostel is, because I'm a fucking navigation genius, I'll also direct them to a, a kebab place because I'm a navigation fucking genius. Navigation Welcome. boy. Do yes. us a favour, mate. What? Shut what's going on? What's going on with your back here, mate? Oh, that's gay chills. <laughs> that's that's back. the navigation. It's Captain Navigation's back. I ain't left. I'm still here. We've got like fucking a foot from where I was talking to you. But I'm the talent. I'm the one you want to see. You've all told me tonight. Yeah. Glasgow fucking love me. It's probably because I'm fucking gorgeous, but you know. And I can even look at the camera and not know where I'm going. Yeah, I'm still getting the directions right because I'm a fucking navigational god! You know what I love? Cock! Do you sell kebabs? No. No, you do. No. Don't ever come to that kebab place. We don't know. The kebab place. Oh, where the <laughs> Hello. What is kebab? Where are we going? House. See you soon. Bye. Non navigational dog. Daddy's got a big team. Daddy can navigate as well. You, you can be daddy when you can He's figure so out where the fuck we are. Because where a jury's in, we want to be at you. Right, we need a team meeting. I'm sick of fucking waiting for you. Rob Kellis is holding a team meeting. Awesome. Team fucking meeting. We're two minutes away from the hostel where it's fucking warm. Stop. My bed is there. I want to go Shh. and cut. <sighs> right. Anyway, you guys team meeting. walk into the hostel. We're gonna do You that. know where we are, right? Over I got us here. You know what room we're in? Yeah, 707. Good work. 
Did you remember the room number? Walk in. I do now, mate. Oh, you do now. Right, walk in. I'm gonna go, go in afterwards mm. with the card. All right. And then it's gonna. Are be we getting in without that card? Well, no. I'm gonna follow you like 30 seconds later. 30 seconds later, I'll close that door. <laughs> you know. <laughs> you fucking out of the room by then. So. Right. Stuff that kebab in your gobble. It looks like we've got away with letting Chloe into our hostel. I'm about to scram my fucking kebab. You're a mess. It's messy on its own. <laughs> so good though. Oh my god, fuck off. <laughs> really? I didn't think mine was that great. Have you finished yours? I ate it. The whole thing? On the way. Oh my god, it's massive. I didn't just smash it then. We like walked for 10 minutes. Did we fuck? We did. Literally five. Well, it seems our tour has come to an end. I see. What's going on? <laughs> Behave yourself. <laughs> Thanks, everyone. Excellent week. Would we recommend following a band round? Absolutely. I'll definitely do it again. But probably like an arena tour for like a band where. Because the, the, the awkward thing is with Broco, like. The venues are small enough for them to see you at every gig and you just feel like they're getting a bit sick of seeing you. I'll do I'd do it again on a like Eggies band level where you're going around like in a bus with them and I'd do it again for like an arena tour. But there was times this tour where I felt a bit like we know the state as well. Yeah. Um, but still fantastic weekend, great shows, good work DB. Keep Absolutely it up. Smashed it as always. And we'll see you when we move into New House on the next one. Tease me. And if you are a, a good band, not Eggies, come play a gig in our new house.